Hello students, let us see one more point that is equilibrium constant with respect to partial pressure. Okay, how can we understand the equilibrium constant in term of the partial pressure? In term of the concentration we have already studied student but in term of the partial pressure how can we study this the in term of the partial pressure? Let us have a look over it student. First, first things we have to consider that is let us consider a reversible reaction. So reversible reaction means A mole of A plus B mole of B. It is reversibly it is giving C mole of C and D mole of D. The equilibrium constant Kc we can write that is Kp in term of the partial pressure that is Kp. So what we can write that is rate of forward reaction divided by rate of the backward reaction. Um, now R in the another word that is equilibrium constant of the forward reaction upon equilibrium constant of the backward reaction. Uh, for the forward reaction student this is concentration of that is what c c power c and d power d okay and then concentration of the reactant but we are not talking about the in term of the partial pressure so we are not talking student in term of the concentration we are talking in term of the partial pressure so how can we study in term of partial pressure student so that is partial pressure partial pressure of c partial pressure of c power c and partial pressure of d power d and partial pressure of a power a and partial pressure of b power b this is there so dear student this is there pc i'm now where p a p b p c p d are the equilibrium partial pressure of a b c d respectively unit of kp is atm you know atm power delta n where the delta n is equal to you know uh, number of the mole of product minus number of mole of the reactant gaseous so let us have a look over it student how can you be able to solve so calcium carbonate is giving calcium oxide and carbon dioxide this is the solid here the you know up now up here is the partial pressure will be one for the solid student and this is also one will be there so kc is equal to only it will dependent on the gas so that is kc is equal to concentration of co2 so kp is equal to what that is you know partial pressure of co2 so kc is equal to mole per liter and kp is equal to you know atm so delta n is equal to one so put out in the formula okay now next one you see student in the term of partial pressure h2 plus i2 it is giving 2hi so kc is equal to that is the kc is equal to in the molar concentration this and in term of partial pressure this so unit of kp will be and kc will be have no unit you know so delta as the delta n is equal to zero how much delta n is equal to two is product and one 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 that is two is reactant so delta n zero so no unit pcl5 gaseous is giving right pcl3 gaseous and cl2 gaseous so pcl3 pcl2 kc like that and kp we can add partial pressure of pcl3 and pcl2 divided by pcl5 so kc is equal to mole per liter and kp is equal to atm as the delta n if you are writing how much you are getting a student delta n that is one you will get the student how here you see student this is the one mole and here is two mole so two minus one that is one that is the atm now n2 plus 3 s2 is giving 2 ns3 so kc is equal to more per liter square you know per mole square liter square and kp is equal to atm uh, no atm inverse 2 as delta n is equal to what student 2 minus 4 that is here is 4 mole reactant so reactant minus 4 uh, 2 minus 4 that is minus 2 okay so this is what okay for here is uh, no ammonium sulfide is there ammonium hydrogen sulfide solid it is given gas and gas so n value it is giving 2 so kc is equal to this one concentration because this is one we need not to take kp is equal to pns3 and ph2s so it is giving so delta n2 minus 0 that is 2 so kc mole if you writing mole square liter minus 2 and kp is equal to atm minus atm square one more question you see kp for the reaction they are asking they have given this is the you know four bar pressure certain to calculate the equilibrium pressure the equilibrium constant is equal to kp is equal to pns3 ph2s is equal to four bar partial pressure are given as pns3 is equal to ph2s root of kp is equal to 2 bar so pns3 plus ph2s is equal to 2 bar plus 2 bar that is 4 bar 
PCL5 was taken as two atm in a closed vessel at 154 degrees Celsius, keeping the temperature constant. PCL5 giving rise PCL3 Cl2 equilibrium is established when 50% of PCL5 is decomposed. Calculate Kp for the equilibrium. So PCL5 is C student when T is equal to 0. So no reaction is started. So 2 mole you have taken it is 0 0. But at equilibrium they are saying 1 1 mole is formed that is 2 minus 1 that is 1. So equilibrium constant is Kp is equal to PCL3 PCL2 upon PCL5 that is 1 atm will come. Now if you talk about for equilibrium they are saying 2SO3 gas is giving right to SO2 gas plus O2. The partial pressure of SO3, SO2 and O2 gases at 650 Kelvin are respectively 0 0.2 bar, 0 0.6 bar, 0 0.4 bar. If the moles of both the oxide of sulfur are so adjust, adjusted as equal, what will be the partial pressure of O2? So equilibrium, the equilibrium given as what? 2SO2 gas giving rise to SO2 gas plus O2. So equilibrium constant Kp is equal to PSO2 PO2 upon PSO3. So this is the square student. Okay. So you can put it out that is 0 0.6 into this is value if you are putting 0 0.3.6 bar. Upon adjusting Kp does not change 3.6 bar Kp is equal to this. So partial pressure of oxygen will be 3.6 bar. One more question is there calculate the ratio of pressure of CO2 gas and co gas at equilibrium is their action co2 plus c is giving 2 co if the kp is 3 bar at 900 kelvin initial pressure they are asking initial pressure of co2 is 0 0.48 bar so what calculate the ratio of pressure of co2 and co gas initially c student 0 0 mole will be there this is solid so it is having 0 at equilibrium it will give 2x here is 0.4x minus 0.48 minus x because here coefficient is 1 so kp is equal to p square co upon p co2 if you put it out it is giving route 3 so you make a equation it is give 4x square plus 3x minus 1.44 equal to 0 so x is equal to 0.33 or 1.083 but negative value is neglected so p co2 is equal to 0 0.15 bar PCO is equal to 0 0.66 bar ratio is what PCO2 upon PCO it is coming 0 0.227 so this is all about the you know equilibrium constant with respect to partial pressure thank you so much for watching friends